In this video, we are going to do a text transformation. So we have a sample set for the demo. It contains three columns. The first one is department position. The second is unique code. And the third one is full name. So the first task is to split the department and positions into two columns. So as you can see, the department and position is merged in a single column and they are separated with a slash. So our task is to split them into two columns. The second task is to get the employee ID from unique code in the format E dash and the unique code. So in the second column, you can see unique code and it is sandwiched between our name. So we have to get rid of the name and just get the unique code in the numeric form. And then we will add E dash as a prefix. The third task is to get the first name and the last name in separate columns. So as you can see in this column, we have first name and last name, but few of the names have their middle name initials present. So we have to get rid of the middle name initials. Also, you can see they are not properly formatted. Like for example, if you see Wazir as a surname, W has to be in caps. Similarly, in Modi, M has to be in caps. And in the name Prasad Tiwad, P and T has to be in caps. So we have to make this in a proper form. So the question is, why can't we put the formulas and complete the task? Definitely we can put formulas and complete it, but formulas are not a cup of tea of everybody. You have to know what formulas you have to put in order to achieve this task. So let me give you an example. Suppose we have to separate trade as a department. So first formula which will come to mind is left, right? So left will take a text and then it will take a number of characters. So we want five characters. So five bracket close so we got trade so when we pull down this is not a dynamic formula for other department names we are not getting a proper outcome so it has to be dynamic so let us make it dynamic so we know that search function returns a number so we can give a search function over here search first take the find text so we will we can give space slash then it will take within text and start number is optional so let us not write that so we got a trade. Now this has become dynamic. But there is one more problem. There is a trailing space which we cannot see because we have a formula over here. So we can give a trim function like this in order to get rid of the trailing space. Now we can pull down and we have our department sorted out. Now removing the position will be quite tricky because you have to include some more functions in the formula. For example, we'll start with search function and search we will give slash space comma within text all right so it will return seven so seven will be our starting position so we have to capture trade assistant so we have to minus the search with the len function so len and the text minus so it will give me 16 as a number of characters after that i have to put write function in it write function first take text and I'll complete the code. So we got the trade assistant and there's a space before trade. So we have to give a trim function as well. All right. So this is how we can do it with the formula. Now let us see how we can do it with Power Query. In Power Query, we have to just know where to click. I repeat where to click, just a click you want. And this transformations will be done within seconds. Let me show you how. First, I'll delete this. Let me click anywhere in the table and then I will go to data from table range and our Power Query editor will open. So first we have to split department and position. So the thing is very simple over here. Just go to home. We have a split column over here and the same thing is there in transform. You, you can select from any one of them. So I just selected from transform split column and by delimiter. So as you can see, Power Query is smart enough to detect the delimiter over here, but our delimiter is not just a slash, it is space slash space. So let me just give space slash and space. Press OK and the first transformation is done. Don't you think how simple it is by giving such a big formula and if you make a mistake, it will take more time. So this is as simple as that. We will give our column names after we complete our transformation. So just leave it as it is as of now and let us do our second transformation. The second transformation is in our unique code column. So just select it and we have to get rid of the alphabets and just keep the number. 
So it's very simple. Just go to transform, split column. And this time we need to use first non-digit to digit and digit to non-digit afterwards. So let us do non-digit to digit. So as you can see, it has made a split where the number starts. All right. So now select this one, go to split column and this time digit to non-digit. So we got rid of the alphabet and just the number is present in this column. We don't need this. We'll press control, select both of them and press delete. The third task is in the full name. We have to get rid of the middle name initials, separate the first name and last name and make it in the proper format. So let us click the full name, go to split column and this time by delimiter and we have to select space. So as you can see space is already selected by Power Query and then we have to select a split head. So we'll select a rightmost delimiter because leftmost delimiter will create a problem in this. Let me show you. So this time the first name got separated but as you can see middle name and the last name is still there. Select the last column, go to split column by delimiter select the leftmost and as you can see this has not properly split it so i'll just get rid of this all right so we are back in our full name column now do the split from the right side from the rightmost delimiter press ok so now the surname is outside now you can again go to the full name column go to split column by delimiter space and again the rightmost delimiter so this so this is the proper way of doing it okay we don't want this column we'll just delete it and we are left with our first name and last name. Now we have to make this in a proper format. Just select both of them by pressing control. Go to format and capitalize each word. Okay. So now our task is done. Let us see the applied step. So as you can see in applied step, lot of change types are there. Just get rid of every change type and we'll assign this at the last. All right. So, so now we'll change our column names. So now we are done with the column name. You can apply the change type by clicking any of the cells over here. Press Ctrl A and go to transform and detect data type. Okay, so it will automatically detect all the data types. Now we are done with our transformation. Let us load the data. So go to home, close and load, close and load to. Select the table and here existing worksheet. Let us load our data in this cell. Press OK. So we got our data as desired. All right. So now we'll test the data. So I'll just paste this aside. Take our sample data set. Paste it over here. So as you can see, tables are smart enough to detect new data and they will extend their boundaries. All right. So now just we have to refresh this and you can see the new data is over here. All right. So we have missed one transformation in our employee ID column. That is to put E dash or before our employee ID. So let us do that. So go to data, query and connection. And this will open your query and connection. If it is not already open, double click on this tab. And this will open our Power Query Editor. So you can do this step at the last also, but we will keep our steps in flow. So we'll put a step after we have transformed our employee ID. So it was transformed on this step. So let us insert a step below this. So click on remove column and select the unique code column. Go to transform, format and add prefix. All right, so it will ask you to insert a step. Yes, we do. Press insert and uh, type E dash and press OK. So we have inserted E dash before our employee ID. Now let us see the below step whether it has any impact by this transformation. So everything till rename column seems fine and change type has given error because we have inserted E dash and it has previously detected the data type as whole number. So we have to change the data type over here to text. All right. So change column type replace current. All right. So now it is done. You can also do it by just deleting the change type step and then reapplying it again. So click anywhere inside this table, press Ctrl A 
go to transform and detect data type all right so now our transformation is finally done go to home close and load to and here we can see e dash is added before our employee id all right so if you want to change the table design just click anywhere inside this table and go to table design and you can select any of the table design so i'll select this one for this video and yeah this is it and uh, i hope you have liked this video and i will see you in the next video